showered and we're gonna do a little get ready with me. As you can see, my hair is in little heatless rollers, curlers. Um, I didn't sleep in these, I just put them in right when I woke up and I've been cleaning the house with them in. So I'm gonna take them out really quick because if I leave them in too long, I look like Shirley Temple. So just bear with me. I guess I could have done this before, but. We oh Lord. All it takes is a little oil, and then we'll get right on track to doing our makeup. Oh, it's the viral influencer headband that people love to hate on, but don't knock it till you try it because I love this thing. I have like five colors of it. I wear it even when I'm not getting ready, just like to walk around the house. Um, all right, let's go. Uh, I lost my train of thought already but we're gonna get ready. I already skin prepped, which I think is super important. As I've gotten older, I've like gotten really into that and learned about it and I'm starting to do it on my neck and my chest and I just really think that it is very preventative for a lot of stuff. Anyways, that's not what this is about. So point of that was I already did like my moisturizer, sunscreen, serums, all that. So I'm gonna go straight in with makeup, but I don't want y'all to think that. I don't skin prep because I do and it's important. And I'm also breaking out more than ever before. So I'm gonna be quiet now and no, I'm not. But <laughs> so first I go in with Summer Friday Skin Tint. Um, I ditched foundation like earlier this year and I have never, ooh, ooh, baby, gone back. I love skin tint. It's just so much more lightweight. And I don't know, foundations, I just never realized I'm finally at the point in my life where I'm noticing that like less is more thing is true because people would tell me that and it would like kind of honestly piss me off a little bit because I'd be like, no, like I like makeup, it's creative, it's my outlet. But then I realized like when I do full beat and stuff sometimes, I just feel like I don't feel as beautiful as I do when I'm just like natural glam. So I'm just using a damp beauty blender and pressing this all in. Very choppy. Um, I don't really leave any in between time. And so this is kind of more just like chill. I was hanging out, not edited. Also, I keep looking here because this is my mirror. So sorry. But next I'm gonna go in with concealer, which I'm obsessed with. Um, concealer because it hides things that I wanted to hide. I'm gonna go in with Tarte. I still use shape tape. I have like a million different shades and I just use whatever one I pick up. This is a 22N. Um, I feel like I normally do a little darker than this. Oh, there's the breakouts, mama. There they are, they never will. Okay, then I'm going in with this Hourglass Concealer Brush and patting it in. I feel like whenever I use this, it like keeps more of the product on. Today I've had like low energy. Um, honestly, I have low energy a lot of the time. I just, for some reason can turn the camera on and blah, 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 never shut my trap. Um, but before this, I just filmed a TikTok and I was like, I decided not to speak in it. And if you follow me, you know, that's not like me. Like I always talk, <laughs> even if it's a voiceover, I'm gonna talk. Um, but I just did my skincare in silence and I'm just gonna put music over it. And that's okay, because sometimes we have days like that. Okay, so I'm just kind of like blending it all in, as you can see, <laughs> just making one big potion. Um, and then now I'm gonna go in with blush. I have so many blushes I love. I'm such a blush girl. So it's just kind of like every day, it's like, ooh, actually not every day. I don't get ready every day, but it's just like, what one am I gonna pick today? I think I'm gonna do Miss Rare Beauty Nearly Mauve. Look at this. Everybody uses this, which I love all of these, but I feel like this is so slept on. This is more fun to use. They're both Rare Beauty, but also my brush is Rare Beauty. But this color, like I used to do Comp Cheer, so I love the bright, bright reds. And it just like, I don't know, it really brings me back. <laughs> and I love this brush too. Um, I'm not going anywhere today, but I am filming a couple of things. Even though it's pretty late this whole morning i've been like cleaning and kind of had a little dilemma happen because he <laughs> my air condition isn't working 
yes, this is oils and stuff from my skincare, but also I am glistening a little bit because I don't have AC. <laughs> Tricked ya. Um, and my landlords don't know that I have a cat, let alone two. So, panic mode definitely was happening. Um, you know, I can't even get into it. That's why I'm low energy. Everybody has those days. I did it to myself, you know, you can't save them all. I love you, Miss Lena. I actually used to have beef with her because I was, you know, I had that beaver fever and so I was jealous. I was a jealous girl. Jealousy got the best of me. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with contour, cream contour, and I'm using Dibs Beauty. I don't know what shade this is. They don't put the shades on them, but I honestly like all of them. There's never really been one that I've been like, yeah, didn't work. And I'm just doing all this. Carving my face. This is actually like my favorite part. It's so fun to do. Um, Cause I just love that like your face is your canvas and you can just boom, bada beep, bada boom. Okay, now I'm gonna blend that in with the OG Real Techniques brush. Y'all know, if you're ever needing, they still have these, right? I just have the same makeup brushes from forever, but I clean them. But these are like the OG, if you're ever needing makeup brushes, Real Techniques, it is the most affordable, like $6, you know what I'm saying? And then sometimes you go somewhere and like, a makeup brush will be like 30, 40 bucks. I'm like, are you serious? It's a brush. But I guess it makes sense because like I keep mine for years. But Real Techniques, this was, I don't, I don't know how much it was, but it's kept me for a long time, kept up with me. Y'all, this is so weird to me, like not hitting pause and like continuing. I don't think I've ever done that. Like even when I filmed YouTube videos, I would pause. Okay, I look crazy on camera, but in the mirror it looks fine. It'll do, no one's gonna see me. Okay, next I'm gonna take my little puff, powder puff, and Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty, Cherry Blossom. This is always sold out, so turn on those notice and anytime you see it in stock somewhere, go get it, girl. I'm gonna set my under eyes, because I'm an oily girl. Next, I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury powder that crumbled, and then I Googled this technique that like you put, I don't even remember what it was, I think hand sanitizer or something, and I let it dry overnight, and it went back together, because that thing was not cheap, so, you know I'm gonna do everything I can to save it. And I set my whole face. A lot of people don't do this, but I just, I don't know. I have to like set my makeup. So I just do like one little brush of everything. This is also a Real Techniques brush. Woo, I'm sweating. I'm telling y'all. All right, I'm already starting to not look like a rap. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus, okay. Next, I go over with powders. This might be a little extreme, but guess what? Um, I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Just a little bit of bronze over my contour. This is the OG, I've used this since middle school. I feel like I always have to address that because it literally doesn't run out. I think I lost it once and replaced it, but is it expired? Most likely, yes, 100%. Does it work? Yes, you would have never known. I think today I'm gonna use my NARS blush in Orgasm. This shade has been the number one OG, OG, OG for years. Um, the first time I got it, I was in eighth grade, maybe going into ninth in New York with my dad and my sister. And I remember like giggling at the name of it <laughs> and being like, I don't know, but I got into New York and it's just like a memory I always have. <laughs> I don't know why I just put so much in my nose, but guess what? It's nothing we can't fix. We're gonna be positive here and I'm turning my mood around. Also, these are my Amazon storefront. You already know, way better than Stanley. Look at that color. It's literally me as a cup. All right, I'm gonna hurry up y'all. Um, yeah. This is my simple everyday glam by the way, but it isn't really everyday because I do makeup like once a week on days that I film, or if I leave the house. But <clears throat> it's better to keep me caged. <laughs> I'm just using bronzer to do the crease of my eyes. Yes, honey. I love doing my makeup in silence. I love the silence. <laughs> that wasn't sarcasm either. I really actually do. 
but um, I just noticed that it probably sounds kind of weird. All right, what are we doing? I can't think. I moved to Nashville, but I did not further my singing career. I decided to take a step back on that one. <laughs> I'm using this Patrick Ta brush to contour my nose. And it's also a favorite part of mine. I just love doing it. Um, where is my Real Beauty highlighter? This is the best highlighter to ever exist. This would take a solid like 30 years to go through because you need such little, like how would I ever run out of this other than losing it or breaking it? And blend it out. All right, now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm still on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Wave. I have, I really have tried multiple other things and I have yet to find something that I confidently like. So I will continue to try other things. Not, nothing's wrong with this. I just, I've been using it for literal years. So I just didn't, you know, I like to experiment sometimes. I just dyed my eyebrows yesterday. I think it was. Which I also just started doing that this year and I just have really dark, naturally dark features and hair. So I didn't think I'd ever need to. But I bleached my hair off, I fried my eyebrows off. So eventually, I had no choice. And it's a, it's a lifesaver, I die on myself. I just get the stuff on Amazon. I wear contacts, so like halfway through my makeup, I always get so blind and I can't see. But if I didn't have them in and I did my makeup without them, I wouldn't be able to do my makeup because I couldn't see. Kidding guys, okay. I don't want to get like too close to y'all because I might scare you. So I'm going to stay back. Um, I'm going to keep this distance. Where is my brow is? Hello? Oh. Okay, now I'm using my brow freeze by Anastasia Bev Beverly Hills. This, this I can go through, but I just need a little bit, okay? I get my brows laminated, so they already have like the ability to fluff. They just need like a little help. So I'm just kind of spreading a little bit all over them. And then I'm gonna get a different brush. I need to wash all of these. And swoop, de la doop, spike them up. And we are making them just a bit fluffy, nothing extreme. Hey, oh my gosh. Okay. Next, I'm gonna do Tarte Fake Awake on my bottom lid. I right, a waterline. But just a little bit. Sometimes when I do too much, I feel like I look really scary. Cute girl, real cute. All right, next I'm going to do my least favorite part of my entire makeup routine, <sighs> my eyelashes. I have to curl them. If I don't curl them, it's a disaster. I don't even wanna know what I look like right now. I also get lash lifts, which I totally recommend. I used to have eyelash extensions, so I really had like little nubs. It destroyed my eyelashes. Um, and lash lifts have been like the best thing for me to help me feel more confident. Cause you know, when you're used to those and you first take them off, it is a jump scare for a couple months. It really is. Okay, so I'm gonna do my mascara. I'm. Mm. I really just like choose whatever mascara I pick up. I kind of just pick a different one every day. I like ColourPops and they're really affordable, but my favorite of all time right now is this Roller Lash by Benefit. And it's just like the mini size um, because they're cheaper. What? Um, so I'm gonna do my mascara and cry. Just kidding. No, y'all don't understand. Like I very much so do not like doing this at all. This is why I got lash extensions in the first place because I can't just be someone and do like, boop, 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 there's my mascara. No, I gotta go ham, I gotta go to town. So you might need to skip through this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a break on this lash. We're going over here. Don't say a prayer for me. I'm really starting to sweat. All right, 10 minutes later and this is what my eyes look like. Mascara absolutely everywhere. They're wet, so I have to, <laughs> I have to let it dry and then I go in with the Katep. AKA a Q-tip. Um, and my Garnier Micellar Water. Drugstore Micellar Water for the win. 
Whew, yo, that was like a whole workout. I don't even know why I do eyeshadow because it comes right off um, when I clean up. Guys, I seriously believe that I use seven different mascaras. Um, no wonder I never run out. It's because I never just stick to one. I need a little bit of something from each. This is a whole process. Okay. Uh-oh, I see a clump. You know what we do with that? This Grande Lash Lash Separator. So I'm gonna get real close. I used to just get my earring and like separate these. Actually, I still do that, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't wanna stress y'all out. She's a little clumpy. That's taking me back to my roots. Y'all, I had the clumpiest mascara growing up. This is my eye that just doesn't cooperate. I'm right-handed, so I just feel like I can't get the right, like, volume. Um, so I dread this eye more than anything. That's why I do it last. Okay. Then I just do a beauty blender on my eyelid. And honestly, I'm gonna go back in and put just a little bit of bronzer since I washed it away. I gotta keep remembering to do this after because every single time I just get my mascara all over my eyelid, I still see it on my eyelid. Slay mama. Okay. What now? Lips, duh, my favorite part ever. All right, I've been a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk girl forever, but recently I'm on a Tarte lip liner kick. Um, this is in the shade Dusty Rose and she is so cute. I love her. Every time I put on lipstick and line my lips, I always get asked if I like recently got my lips done. I guess that's the point of it, right? I actually never, I always cut out the clips of me doing my lip liner and my TikToks. So I feel very vulnerable right now. Um, Cause I'm doing it so sloppy. Cause I feel like I'm taking so long. I rush myself. Like I would never, even if I had all the time in the world, I would never just be able to like chill for like a second. I feel like I'm just like, go, go, go. Like even when I'm driving or when I'm in the store, I get what I need, I leave. I talk, I end, we're done. I do my makeup, what now? I just, I stress myself out. Would not work All right, next I'm gonna do, oh, I'm gonna go in with pillow talk y'all. This is shade medium. It is dark. I like this or the regular one, but this one's my fave. Makes me feel grown. Cute girl. All right, I've got a couple of, I'm a big gloss girl. I got a couple of favorites. I really love these Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. They're fun to click. I feel like these are just so, I don't know. They like remind me of like the 90s, even though I was literally like, what, three? Um, what is this one? Tulip, tulip, how fun. What is this one? Ooh, we got a dark red. I actually do use this a lot. Um, but I'm gonna use, I wanna put on a gloss, a different gloss. I like my Fenty Beauty shade Bussy, but I think she's in my purse. So I'm gonna use Lancome. I think my dad got me this for Christmas. You know, any gloss is a good gloss. As long as I got some shine, honey, I'm good. All right. And next, we're going in with my new fave. It's the one size. Um, this is like a waterproof setting spray. This is the big, big baby. I recently got my hands on it and I bought two because it's also always out of stock. So screenshot that. Also y'all, I have everything. If you follow me, I have everything in my bio, like all my links to the makeup I use, my like to know it, everything. I, I'm always showing you in my Amazon store for my everyday makeup, all that stuff. So stay tuned or like keep, follow me for that. I don't know. This was my first time using it, so it's not really coming out. Oh! I got it, y'all. It actually smells good. Yay! Okay, normally I would do a winged liner and I do bottle mascara, but I've already been talking y'all's ear off, showing you the whole shebang. I'm pretty sure that is everything. Let's see how my curls are doing. Oh, oopsie. Not my hair being flat to my head. 
All right, for once, if you follow me on TikTok, you know that like I always take them out and they're like, like literally little ringlets. Um, but this was me trying to just keep it in for a few hours. For once, it's not like that. I actually just need a really good hair wash, but I don't want to put heat on it and I'm trying to like keep it healthy. As you can see, that's why my roots are literally black. Um, so I'm just doing the heatless curls and it's actually kind of fun. Just not in the humidity. I walk outside and my hair is flat like paper. Okay guys, I don't have any of my hair products in here, but I need like texturizing spray. It'll be okay, I'll live. All right, y'all, I think that this is it. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I think I just feel naked without like jewelry on or anything um, or my nails done. But here is my everyday makeup. Four days that I do makeup. I've been sitting on my foot this entire time, so it's asleep. I have no, absolutely zero blood flow in there. So that's great. I love that for me. Um, thank y'all for watching this. This was my first time kind of like doing something like this. I do have a YouTube channel I haven't posted in quite a while, which is so unlike me because I've been posting for years. And then all of a sudden this year, I just took a break without even like meaning to. It's just, I feel like this summer I've been like, blah. And um, I always like said I never wanted to do that, but it's happened and, I'm, and I just keep letting it happen. So don't be like me. But I do have a YouTube channel. It's Christy X Bieber. Just type in Christy Howard, okay? Don't ask. And follow me on TikTok, Christy Howard, at Queen of Getting Banned. Um, my Instagram is Christy Howard. We have a lot of fun over there. And this was really cool and fun. And I hope you guys like this. And I hope I didn't scare you if this is your first time watching me. I hope you're not like, who is this crazy girl? Well, um, that wraps it for my Get Ready With Me with JMO Magazine. Make sure y'all subscribe to them, subscribe to me and subscribe to them, but mainly them because they're the GOAT for letting me do this. This was awesome. And I hope you guys have a great, it's Monday for me. I don't like Mondays, but week, weekend. You know, I hope you have a great life. Love you.